started. Okay, greetings, 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 everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, and with that, we are here at another beautiful day at Back to Nature Organic Farms. And um, why I love a day like today is because the smell, the aroma of manure, of nutrients, uh, of us making compost is in the air. Uh, gentlemen, you can continue there as we have a chance to uh, interview Mualimu here today. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, you might have remember uh, when we were with the, uh, the Watermaya video, we had a chance to stop briefly by our composting area where we talked about the cow going to number two, the cow going to number three, and the manure is then collected in this, I, th I think I'm catching the, the video, uh, the, the, uh, um, the compost pit, and then we move the compost pit into the compost heap there. So if you don't mind, slide over just a little bit. If you see here, this is now the first compost pit that we had established in that area. We have now, it's been three weeks, we have moved it over into this particular area. And now we are filling the compost pit filled up. And now we are moving that particular, uh, those uh, materials here to establish our second compost heap. So, I am here very blessed with a very special gentleman, uh, someone who we call Mwalimu here. Mwalimu is just Swahili for um, a teacher, someone who's an educator. He's a gentleman who has been guiding us through this process. Someone who has been in the organic, agroecological, uh, regenerative agriculture space here in Kenya for decades. And we're so very blessed to have him as someone who guides us in part of our process, shares knowledge, shares wisdom, uh, and, 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 and with that, we're happy to have his presence here today. None other than Mr. Karanja from OAC. And OAC stands for Organic, Organic Agriculture, Agriculture Center, Center of Kenya. Of Kenya. Yeah, so me. with that, Mr. Karanja, I want to introduce you. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, actually, let me, let me step on this side here. You can come over here. Yeah. Uh, introduce you to our Back to Nature Organic Farms YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, if you don't mind, briefly introduce yourself, mm -hmm. and then briefly, what is the process that's happening with uh, uh, some of our team members, family members here, the farm uh, right behind us. Okay. Thank you. I'm very happy to be back to, uh, to Nature Farm. Uh, you know, I was here three weeks ago, but in, in between I've come to check on the progress. But uh, personally today I'm here for, uh, to follow up on the compost tip yes. that we made three weeks ago. And uh, before that, uh, my name is Sir David Karanja. I'm the coordinator at the Organic Agriculture Center of Kenya, which is a non-profit organization that supports farmers with information and knowledge on organic agriculture. Yes. And uh, we have been operating in this county of Maranga. Now we are in the 16th year. 16th year? Yeah, so, wow. since, so it's, we, are, we have been here for quite some time. Yes. And uh, now I'm happy because this is my life, this is my work. Wonderful. I like it very much. Excellent. So, yeah, three weeks ago we made this hip. Okay. And uh, today we, it was uh, a turning point. We had to come after three weeks. Yes. And to see the progress. Yes. And as we check on the progress, we have to make another hip. Another Heap. Another, another heap. So uh, to start with now, after that, let me bring the camera just a little bit closer yeah. so that everyone can see what's happening uh, here and get a chance to explain uh, in mo much more clarity. Yeah. Now, okay. th now this uh, the combo that we made three weeks ago. Okay. And I'm very happy to see that the process has gone on very well. Okay. Because you can see now the the, the composing process has already started. Wow. And now when you look this one, it's totally different with what we are making right now here. Yeah. There's a big difference between the fresh yes. and the, the ones that have already started the process of decomposition. Com okay, and, very uh, well. We are expecting this to be ready after another six weeks. About another six weeks? Yeah, because our compost was to take nine weeks. Yes. Already we have covered three weeks. Three weeks. We have turned and we have covered it with some uh, straw again. Yes. To protect it from direct sunlight. Okay. Now we have started another process. Now you can see after three weeks, yes. we have been able to collect enough material in, so, in the, the pit. In the pit, and it's good that you have all this material. Yes. We have collected here. Yes. And amaz uh, amazing is that uh, it has already started the process of decomposition. Okay. Even before we take it to the heap. Interesting. So, interesting. So even, it might even take less than nine weeks for the, the second pit. Okay. Because what we have realized that uh, 
all the the waste from the farm most of them were were green materials yes and the, the rate of decomposition is very high yes compared to the last material that we had the other time that were more of dry material ah. so the more the more the dry the more it takes to to decompose to decompose but for this one even you can have your camera here you can see now even the process of comp uh, decomposition has started light in the pit even before you take it to the to the, the compost to the, pile okay to, to the, the bar heap, yeah yes. to the bar so what we are doing here now, you can see, we have put the area of now the, the, the materials okay. and we have added ash. You know, ash is rich in mineral, it is rich in uh, potash. Okay. So that's why we are adding it here. And then after this... Yeah, because that, that was going to be a question. What are, when, when you're creating a compost heap, mm -hmm. what are the different components that go into the compost heap? We've talked about having some, uh, obviously, the manure that's coming from a cow or the goats or the chicken. Yeah. On top of that, maybe some uh, uh, of the green, dry material. Yeah, you have green material. The green materials. We, have some, we are adding some little soil. A little soil, we are okay. We some ash. Ash, okay. We are, we are also even adding water. Water. And we have some microorganisms, from fermented microorganisms that we are adding to the process already so that's this this water that we then mix in with yeah with this uh, these are uh, these are fermented microorganisms we call it organic multipurpose yes it does the same like as the one called em effective microorganism yes so they are the same microorganisms that we are putting in here to fasten the, the process of decomposition, decomposition and also to bring in the good guys so the good nutrients work. the good my the biome the the microorganisms the bacteria yeah. etc yeah okay so is that what uh, mr mwangi now is applying yeah. because we what we ended up doing was we diluted i think of what was the ratio that we did water to the this um uh, this particular uh, multi-purpose so this five liter yes so we are only scooping two two cups yes and then we put it in a 20 liter garden yes and then you stir okay and then you, you spread over or you sprinkle over the the compost heap ah okay yeah. so that is now what mwangi is doing is sprinkling on yeah. to the compost heap the di the microorganisms yeah. and the good bacteria yeah. in order to help the decomposition process yeah. in the in this particular journey yeah to be faster you know even if even if you don't this, uh, put this one yes finally the process will take place okay but when you have these guys yes it's like they are have, having your work it's uh like it you expedites are... the process <laughs> exactly okay very yeah. well very well yeah. now l let me ask you um uh, uh, mr karanja yes there this was uh, this is a natural way of farming yes. and using things from nature to be able to create fertilizers that can be applied in the field or applied in the soil mm -hmm. to give us healthy soil, healthy food without all the inorganic uh, agrochemicals, uh, pesticides, I mean the other fertilizers uh, that uh, are applied. Mm -hmm. Why is it, mm -hmm. especially in Kenya in this particular area, in the Moranga area, what happened that we forgot how to utilize these natural means, inexpensive means of creating fertilizer that can bring nutrients to the soil and to our crops? Yeah, you're right. Uh, here, in, not only here in Muranga, but the whole of uh, Mount Kenya region, yes. even Kenya as a whole. Yes. Um, people are using a lot of agrochemicals, yes. especially now the fertilizers. Yes. And in the past, they were not doing this, uh, that. But over the time, it's like they have been brainwashed in a way that uh, they don't realize the, what they have. Yes. Every time you think that you want to be a farmer, you all only think outside the farm. You need to go and bring uh, uh, input from outside the farm. Yes. Not remembering that you have all it takes to make your soil fertile. Yes. Like what we are now, we are, we are doing here, back to nature. Yes. All these materials, they are within the farm. Mm. They have they are nothing that has come from outside the farm. Yes. And within uh, the coming few weeks, yes. we'll have enough compost. So what I can say is that uh, farmers have this tendency of thinking that uh, whatever comes from outside is the one that is better compared to what they normally have. Mm. Also, with now with the multinational companies that have been promoting ke chemicals and pesticides, yes. they are all over the media. So farmers tend to believe on what on the media than what they have. Yes. So they have been told that your, your crop cannot grow without putting DAP, your crop cannot grow without spraying chemicals. Yes. But that, that's opposite here in nature because we have all it takes yes. to make ourselves fertile yes. and also to make our plant healthy. Wonderful. And uh, so that's why we are. And obviously, this is a viable way of farming 
because you've been doing this 16 years you mentioned mm -hmm. at OAC mm -hmm. uh, and you've been in the space for a long time and part of the networks mm -hmm. that are here in terms of organic farming mm -hmm. so you are saying that it is a viable way that farmers can go back to nature farmers can engage with uh, you know cr using materials that they collect from their own farms to create the necessary inputs that will give the soil the nutrients that can even uh, today I know we're going to be t talking about pests and diseases mm -hmm. and how to naturally be able to work in harmony mm -hmm. and sort of uh, chase or pull I, I like the push pull system we I hope we'll talk about that mm -hmm. in the chance today so you're saying it is viable that a person a farmer can farm profitably going with nature and in harmony with nature but not even viable very viable wow you don't have to live the world very viable wow All and very sustainable you know what we are doing here we are just trying to make to mimic nature yes if you go to the forest yes no one takes the for uh, the, the fertilizer there <laughs> no one takes the best side there but i agree with that a hundred percent how does the forest grow <laughs> yeah right so we want to mimic that okay you know when the forest the, the, the leaves they fall on the ground they decompose they create the, the micronutrients, uh, the microclimate for the good guys yes. to feed on. Yes. And that's what we are trying to mimic here. Mm. All these materials now, yes. they are decomposing. When they get into uh, a fine compost, yes. they are going to take it to the farm. And that's all the plant needs. They don't need to do a lot of chemicals from outside, yes. a lot of pesticides. So yes. just to say, to echo what you are saying, it's very viable, it's very sustainable. And for here now, right now, we don't, we are not spending any money apart from our energy that we are spending here. Yes. There's no much money that we are going to to use to to do this apart now from the issue of labor. Yes. And uh, in the long term, you find that we are going to create the health of the soil. Yes. So even in the future, we do not need to have a lot of compost putting in the soil because the soil will already have generated It'll be healthy, cell. healthy, it has the right biology. Yeah. The web is fully there. Yeah. Excellent. Well. Listen, Mr. Karanja, we very much appreciate your presence, very much appreciate your guidance. Uh, we appreciate having individuals who think along the lines that you think, who care enough. And I know, by the way, yeah. not only our farm that you engage with, yeah. I know 16 years you've been working with your organization. Mm -hmm. I think you have hundreds of farmers, if I'm correct, you that right. you, you're engaging with. You're sl slowly mm -hmm. showing them how to come back to farming naturally. And can I tell you something? Yes. The farmer that we, we have been engaged with, as we speak now, yes. they are also, also talking about the healthy benefit of their soil, of their plants. You know, when you have a healthy soil, yes. you'll have a healthy plant. Absolutely. And, and you'll have a healthy people. Yes. So, but if you have a weak soil, you have, you'll have you have weak plants, and then at the end, you'll have weak people. Wow. So, this is workable. Yes. It's something that we, we are proud to do. Yes. And I promise even here, back to nature, in the coming few weeks, yes. we'll have our own lady compost that we are going to put to our plant. And they will be very ready to go. healthy and very happy. Excellent. I'm happy to be here. Asante sana. I love your passion. Yeah. We love your enthusiasm. Yeah. Keep doing your work. Yeah. May the Creator, the Almighty, bless you with health, strength, to continue sharing with more and bringing this message that we can farm naturally. We can go back to nature and yet live healthy, eat healthy, think healthy, be healthy. And so with that, Thank you very much for sharing us with Mr. Karanja. We'll probably be having making a short video a little later mm -hmm. when we talk about now pests and diseases yeah. and how to use the medicinal plants yeah. to control uh, the pests and diseases uh, naturally. Thank so with you. that, God bless. Fantastic.